No, stay where you are. Do not break the stillness of this moment. For this is a time of mystery. A time when imagination is free and moves forward swiftly, silently. This is... ScareFM.com 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 I'm in the hell demon, and your soul is mine. and frightening sounds echo through the halls. Whenever candlelights flicker where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. Scare FM. I am Seymour, your ghost host. Scare FM provides you with spine chilling vintage haunted radio that originally aired in the early 1930s when TV was not an option. Our radio show comes from the archives of the sealed book, The Strange Doctor Weird, The Witch's Tale, The Blue Beetle, The Mysterious Traveler, and other vintage haunted radio archives provided to you exclusively by Scare FM. Scare FM is syndicated and streamed throughout the globe via iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, Facebook, Twitter, Blogger, YouTube, RSS feeds, and a host of other internet websites. Don't be frightened. Sit down. Relax as we unravel the mysteries of the macabre, only provided to you by Scare FM. Before we get started with our first episode, a word from the Scare FM advertisers. Hey, this is Daniel from the band Throne of Anguish, and I love Scare FM. Having a haunted house, Halloween party, or haunted event this year? Are you ready with all the best haunted sound effects, pumpkin teeth, and video effects? Find them all at soundsofterror.com. Sounds of Terror has everything you need to give your haunted house, party, or event the perfect sounds and visual effects. Don't wait. Go to Sounds of Terror. That's S-O-U-N-D-S-O-F-T-E-R-R-O-R dot com. Halloween is almost here. Prepare yourself. Soundsofterror.com Hi, this is John Hires, creator of John Hires Visual Effects. And we love listening to Scare FM. Are the plants in your home or business always underwatered and look half dead? Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you hate getting that potting soil on your clothes? Me too. Then you need to visit our friends at Hydrating Beads. Hydrating Beads are water beads that feed your plants 24 hours a day. Hydrating Beads come in 12 different colors to best suit your home decor. And the best part about Hydrating Beads is you no longer have to worry about watering your plants every single day. That's right, Hydrating Beads can water your plants up to 90 days without any maintenance whatsoever. No more mess, odor, slime, or continual maintenance. Grow your plants and flowers without soil. Visit them on the internet at hydratingbeads.com. That's H-Y-D-R-A-T-I-N-G beads.com. Hydratingbeads.com. 
Hey guys, this is Sean Gordon, director of The Oatmeal Man, and I love listening to Scare FM. Listen to Easy Way broadcasting shows powered by WTVNetworks.com every day of the week on Blog Talk Radio with celebrity hosts Eric Zuli, Shane Sparks, Sarah Winchester, Rick Rosman, and Mo Egger. Easy Way Broadcasting is the hottest place for music, sports, celebrity gossip, advice, and insider tips. Follow at Easy Way Broadcast. Call Easy Way Broadcasting shows with your questions and comments at 914-338-1303. Hi, this is Craig Hines, the evil genius from darkimaginings.com, and we love listening to Scare FM. Are you a home haunter? Do you own a professional haunted attraction? Is it important for you to have your customers come back year after year after year? Do you want to give your customers the best haunted experience possible? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to get the visual effects at johnhiresvisualeffects.com. J-O-N-H-Y-E-R-S visualeffects.com. Turn your haunt from drab into fab. Get your effects today. Hi, I'm Tyler Ferroni, illustrator of The Garden of Sin, and I love listening to Scare FM. Hey, do you want to see something spooky? Then chop off your head and head on over to ToxicTunes.com and see all the new merchandise that Uncle Piggers has created for 2012. <laughs> he has Toxic Tune Monster Bags. He has Trick or Treat Bag Specials. He has Creepy T-Shirts. He has Weird Stickers. He has Ringworms. Oops, how did that get in there? He has Toxic Tunes art books and over 60 spooky prints of all his ghoulish artwork and lots more word creepy stuff. So much stuff, it's making my eyeballs drool just looking at it all. ToxicTunes.com So come and see why Uncle Piggers is fast becoming what Halloween needs. A nice creepy kick in the... <laughs> his merchandise is so spooky it will make your grandma fill up her already dirty diapers. ToxicTunes.com So head on over to ToxicTunes.com and tell him Scare FM sent you, and he might just throw in a surprise in your order. <laughs> This is a chainsaw-wielding maniac from Haunted Overload in Lee, New Hampshire, and we love listening to Scare FM. Hey, Andrew, have you looked at your electric bill lately? Yeah, Chris. I tried to avoid opening mine because it's scary. My electric bills have doubled and it's not even summer. Don't be a victim of high electric costs. Let True Power do a free in-home energy assessment today so we can help you fire the electric company. Hit your own home run with True Power and the Anaheim Angels by visiting us on the internet at truepowergoangels.com or call us directly at 714-676-8888. Call now. Hey guys, this is Eric Zuli, the Hollywood It Guy, doing it the easy way. I listen to Scare FM Radio, baby. It's a hot station. You should listen to it too. Thank you for listening to our advertisers. If you are thinking of advertising on Scare FM, simply go to scarefm.com for more information. Now it's time to listen to episode one. We now 
present George Edwards in Frankenstein. Certain members of the crew of the Voyager objected to the presence of Baron Frankenstein on board. But Captain Walton addressed his crew and informed them that the Baron was his guest. Then, to the surprise of everyone, Baron Frankenstein tottered up onto deck. He was weak and ill, and he supported himself with difficulty. He informed Captain Walton that he intended to leave the ship immediately. Baron Frankenstein, I cannot allow you to go ashore. This is no affair of yours, Captain Walton. You dare not keep me here against my will. Besides which, your crew do not desire to have me aboard the vessel. The crew will obey my orders. I have a duty to do. I cannot send a man to certain death. Captain Walton, I appreciate your feelings, and I thank you for your friendship and for all that you have done for me. Do you not realize that life for me is over? I created a monster, and that monster has gradually destroyed me, torn down the structure which surrounded me, killed my friends, my loved ones, made me an outcast. I live only for one thing, to witness the death of the monster. If you take me back to civilization against my will, you will be condemning me to torture, knowing that all men hate and despise me because of the crime which I committed. I am already destroyed, although there is life in my body, and that life cannot be extinguished. It must not be extinguished until my creation has been destroyed. Now I beg of you, let me go. We shall not meet again. Very well, Baron Frankenstein. The choice is yours. You may leave this ship. There is still ice for you to walk across. I will have a rope ladder lowered at once. But I shall always feel it on my conscience that I deserted you. Left you here to perish in the white waste of the north. For me, death will be a merciful release. So go, Captain, and when you return to England, you may publish the notes in your journal so that all may know that it is folly, that it is a grave sin to usurp the rights of God. I have suffered as men have seldom suffered, and when the monster dies, then shall I make atonement. To the members of your crew, I also say farewell. I am glad that none of them had suffered because of my misdeeds. Now I must... Oh, oh, he has collapsed. I knew he had not the strength. I knew he should not have come on deck. What shall we do, Captain Walton? We cannot put him ashore in his present state, and yet we cannot remain here. The vessel must go on. I hardly know what to do. Uh, I think Adam Frankenstein is trying to speak. I am to be cheated of my vengeance. I know it. I feel for the first time the icy clutch of death. Come close to me, Captain Walton, and hear what I say. What is it, Baron Frankenstein? Should you see the monster again, bid your men to fire and shoot to kill. I promise you I will do that. But we may never see the monster again. I must not die leaving him alive, leaving him to wander the earth. It is not fair. Oh, this is indeed my greatest punishment. But you may not die. Let me give orders that you are carried down to the cabin. There we will seek to revive you. Oh, it is too late for that. Even now, all grows dim. Oh, God, forgive me for the great sin which was mine. Let no others be punished because of my folly and my pride. I have suffered because of my ambition, and I have paid the penalty. I go now to join my beloved Elizabeth, my friends, and I beg thy forgiveness. O oh Lord, that which I created 